Welcome back to the Mountaintop, everybody. I'm Cody. Today we have an awesome one planned for you. We have 10,000 sheets of paper because everybody was just getting so pissed off that I was shooting my own damn trees. So I figured I would change it up, pacify them. And so we have 10,000 sheets of paper. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be seeing how much paper it takes to stop these bullets. And the bullets we're going to be using today, these are all the different bullet types, all the different calibers. Um, so when I pull it out, whenever I say, you know, this is 223, you know, this is what we're going to be shooting. So these are all of our bullet types. This is all the paper we have. Let's get this thing set up and let's see what kind of damage we can do. All right, guys, this is the Ruger 1022 22 LR. We're at about 10 yards. We got one bullet. Let's see what we can do. All right, it stopped inside of the first pack of paper. This is 500 sheets and you can kind of see it down in there this is the fn 1910 32 auto we're at about 10 yards see what we can do made it into the first one stopped again all right we'll move this one back to the back and then set a new one in here i don't think that anything's going to make it quite this far back but we'll put it back there just in case all right let's move on to the next one this is the 1963 colt official police 38 special at about 10 yards we have a fresh stack of paper at the front so this will be the first bullet going into this stack all right the 38 special went into the first one and stopped as well so we have not made it through 500 pieces of paper yet that's a 22 32 38 so we all know what's coming up next all right it's the gun you either love or the gun you love to hate this is the glock 20 gen 4 10 millimeter we're at about 10 yards i think we're all excited to see what this is going to do so let's see oh ho ho these two stacks are stuck together, which means I think that it made it through. All right, here's your 10 millimeter entrance right there. Oh yeah, oh, ho, ho. check that out. Oh, she's still smoking hot. Woo, there's your 10 millimeter. And so that was the 180 grain full metal jacket and it just barely managed to smush that thing down. And we barely, barely made it into that second one. So that was our last handgun. And that was the first pack of paper that we managed to make it all the way through. So the Glock Gen 4 10 millimeter made it through about 500 sheets of paper. So we're gonna put some fresh sheets at the front and we're gonna step it up to rifles. All right, guys, this is the 223 Wild. Um, we've got the full metal jackets in this thing. We're back at about 10 yards. Let's see what we can do. safety all right guns on safe these were all fresh stacks here all right made it all the way through i don't know if you can see through that but there's daylight in there somewhere you can't see it but it made it all the way through the back of the first one all the way through the second one all the way through the third one and we're starting to see some separation here where it's finally starting to do some damage. All right, and we are in the fourth here and you can just see all that shrapnel. There's, I don't think we're gonna find anything of that bullet in there. All right, guys, this is the 300 Blackout. It's the same lower we just had on that 223. These guys use the same magazine and the same lower as the 223. It's pretty much a 30 caliber bullet and they just plopped it on a 223 casing so let's um load this thing up this is the 300 blackout at about 10 yards all right punched a hole straight through the first all right and it was actually slowing down and breaking up pretty darn well it was starting to make a bigger hole there this is the second one started to tumble out the back of that one and it slammed itself about halfway into the third one so you can see the jacket in here just little bitty pieces it was breaking up good 
I think it just punched all these pieces together. There it is. There's part of it. I mean, it just squished it down into here. Here it is. There it is from the back side. There we go. It just mangled. That's nothing but the jacket right there. All right, this is the Marlin 336W, chambered in 3030. The best brush gun, I think. Um, so let's see what we can do here. We're at about 10 yards, 3030. Oh yeah, barely even made it into the second one, but it about made it through the second one. You can just feel the lump on the back there. There's your first one, and it was starting to break apart already. Here, hold on, let me. You can just see the, there's your entrance wound. Just, I mean, tiny. And then there's your exit wound, and I can shove my thumb in that. So these are awesome rounds, and I mean, it made it all the way through this stack of paper. Just barely stopped in the back. We'll pull that out here at the end and see what that looks like. All right, so this guy is a Remington R25, chambered in 243. You really don't see very many 243 ARs, but they're really cool. This guy is pretty heavy, but he can shoot a country mile. So let's um, sling one in. We're at about 10 yards again. This is a real small bullet moving real darn fast. So I think it's gonna make it farther than any bullet we've seen so far today. Oh yeah. So there was our 3030. This is our 243. And you can see, I mean, that 243 is just booking. So that is your first stack of paper for the 243, your second stack of paper for the 243, and it is just booking it into there. And I don't think it made it out of this second one. Did it? I think it just punched the ever living crap out of this thing. Should we tear it open or? I guess. Let's see if it's in here. You gotta know. You gotta know. I don't, look there, look at the middle of it. It's stacked out in the middle. I think it made it to the middle there. There it is. Yep, it was right there in our third one oh man that thing is stuck together there it is and it's like it's in here this isn't the whole bullet that's like paper that's like it clumped in around itself how wild is that all right guys this is a pre-64 winchester model 100 this is chambered in 308 let's see what kind of damage we can do to this paper all right we're ready to go one's in it Ready? Ready. Where did we hit that guy at? Ooh, it did some damage. There's your 308 entrance. There's your exit. And they're just getting bigger and bigger. That's first. There's your second. And it, I think it was rolling out at that point. If it even made it out of the second one. Let's see. I think it just dumped off its energy and it might be up inside of this guy right here. All right, this is the Savage Model 110 Precision chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. We're at about 10 yards. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah. We put that one dead freaking center. And look at that hole, man. That rivals the 308 pretty darn good, don't it? All right. Went into the second one all the way through, and it was just annihilating stuff on its way. Into the third, and here it is in the third guy. Let's check it out. There it is. Holy cow, that guy is hot. All right, so that was a pretty good idea of how all these different hunting calibers perform you know i did use hunting ammo on some of them i feel like if we would have had full metal jacket for every single bullet 
you know some of them might have performed differently but you know a lot of that was hunting grounds so you see about how your hunting ammo performs when compared side by side you know those small fast bullets just tend to punch through this um but you know i i didn't have enough fun so i've got 30 rounds loaded up in this 223 let's go ahead and throw some into the rest of this paper down here <laughs> that's always fun <laughs> but that's all we have for you today guys if you did like the content please be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already push the notification button so you know when we post again and we'll see you next time for those of you still here you're freaking awesome let's see what kind of damage we did to this paper oh my goodness oh, look at that <laughs> just absolutely destroyed that thing Yep, cheese grading it. We got you some Swiss paper here. Yep, that this is Swiss paper. All right, guys, there's what's left over. That's all for today. Thanks for sticking around to the end. We'll see you next time.